Okay, uh, so today we're gonna work on putting in a freestanding tub. Actually, we're just gonna be roughing it in today. So I wanted to show you how I do that because if you don't have access from below, these freestanding tubs, there's no way to get in and hook up the plumbing from underneath. So what we need to do is set it up so that we can just drop the tub right down on top. If you're on a concrete foundation or you're in a space where you can't get below underneath, you need to get this part that I want to show you. So what we have here is a, we're on a second story. So we're in the upstairs. This used to be a tub deck. So that's what we're seeing a lot of nowadays. You know, we, back in the 80s and 90s, you had these big tub decks, big jacuzzi tub decks with the drop-in tub. That was the style. Well, now the style is to take those out, put in freestanding tubs, and it, it's just the style, it looks really nice. You see a lot of my jobs have that going on. Pretty much all of our new bathrooms have a freestanding tub if they have a tub in them. That's why I wanted to make this video because I think this part that we have is really cool. So what I have here, this is, if you're gonna do one of these tubs, you need to get this part. Now this is the Jacuzzi MZ2000 and it comes in a kit, so uh, it comes with, comes with the downspout so this is this is the part that's going to hook up into the drain and it also comes with this this is the important part here so what we got is basically a way to set this into the floor and then the tub spout this this red part's just a protector uh, we leave this in until we're done and we take it out and then the pipe has a slip fitting. You can see there's a, there's a rubber coupler in there, just a rubber, rubber fitting. And what we do with that is we, you, you lube up the pipe. That's, that's this guy. And you see it has some silicone, uh, silicone lubricant in it. So you lube up the pipe and that pipe presses right down in here. And I'm gonna show that uh, in the next video when we put the tub in. So, but this is a part you need while you're in the rough in stage. Okay. Okay, so what we have going here is um, the bottom, one of the things you need to note is that the bottom here is a two inch that comes in the, the rough in part. You're gonna have to provide yourself a reducer bushing, and it, two inch, two inch and a half reducer bushing um, to connect into your inch and a half ABS pipe because that is what typically is used for a tub. So keep that in mind. If you order this, you're gonna have to have this reducer bushing. Also, you'll notice that this is PVC. We hook into ABS here in California. That's what we use. So you need uh, special transition glue. Uh, you cannot just use regular ABS glue or PVC glue. You need the, the transition glue to go from PVC to ABS. So. What we're going to do here is go ahead and get this going. So, so this tool is one of my most valuable tools that we have. It is such a time saver. This is an inside pipe cutter. You put it on a drill and so you can stick it inside the pipe and cut it as because if this was a finished floor, now we left our plywood loose, um, but still this has to sit on top. So we needed to, you need to be able to cut from, a, from above. So if you use your inside pipe cutter, you don't need to get under here and try to cut it off with a hacksaw. So we use this tool a lot. We actually do our curdy drains the same way. If we have a plumber setting up a shower for one of our drains, I tell them, I just say, bring your two inch stub out flush with the top and they go, oh, you don't need a special measurement? I say, no, you don't cut it. Just bring the stub out up. Give me a two inch stub out. I'll take my curdy drain and we'll do the same thing. That way we can get the height. Cause they go, well, how are you gonna cut the pipe? I go, I got this tool. And so that's how we do it. First thing I'm gonna do is get my transition glue and go ahead and glue in our, now the transition glue is a little bit watery it up. Uh, so it's not as thick as the ABS glue. So I always coat both sides. I'm going to slip our reducer in there. Okay. So now that I got this in here, I'm going to be able to take the measurement from here 
because this is the part that finishes with our subfloor. And so I'm gonna be able to get a measurement, measure down and make this cut. So I got my reducer bushing in here. To get my measurement, I measured where the pipe's gonna stop and that's three, the pipe is gonna stop three quarters in here. Uh, the overall, the overall on this is four inches from here to here. So if I go cut my pipe down, it's flush with the subfloor right now. If I cut my pipe down three and a quarter, this should fit perfectly on there at the right height. What I'm gonna, what I do with these, these have the spindle on them, so you can, you know, you can adjust this in and out as you tighten down on your drill, and make sure this is tight, because if this is, if this is loose, you could lose your bit down into the trap, and that is not good. So um, make sure it's nice and tight. My measurement here is from here to here is three and a quarter. You can see that. So I'm gonna use that as my guide as how far to cut down, because I need three and a quarter, and it should work out perfectly. So use this as a guide. There you go. Inside pipe without, without having to get a hacksaw in there or anything. Now let me just double check this. Okay, with my glue that should fit on just about perfect. And yeah, we are three and a quarter perfectly. Three and a quarter. So we got our height just right. Now I'm going ABS to ABS. So obviously I need ABS cement. Okay, so I'm going outside of my pipe and I do both sides. So I'm doing the inside also. Now, this doesn't matter. It can go any, any which way. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there. And we're good, we're right there. Okay. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna screw this down. So they require you to put it in every hole? I don't think so. I think this is overkill. Yeah, like that, yeah. Okay. So this is how these rough-ins go in. If you have a concrete foundation or if there's no way to get from underneath. If I had to get from underneath in this one, I mean it's upstairs, but we would have to cut through drywall. We'd have a ceiling patch. Ceiling patches never come out perfect, especially with the knockdown texture. So I really didn't want to open up the ceiling to have to hook this up. This way, getting this roughing in, we're gonna be able to just take that tub and plop it right down, lube up that pipe and plop it right down. So uh, I wanted to show you guys, this is a huge time saver and if you didn't know how to do it, you need to get this part. So that's it for today. So we'll go ahead and come back and show you how we actually put the tub in. Thank you for watching another one of my videos. I hope you enjoyed it. I won't have the flooring in and the tub put up for a couple weeks, so stay tuned. I'll have that video coming up. Until then, leave your comments in the section below. Find me on Instagram at tilecoach. Shoot me an email. I read all of your comments. Sometimes I can't get back to every comment, but I read them all, I value them. So just because I don't respond doesn't mean I'm not seeing them and I appreciate all of the feedback both positive and critical. If you guys got something to say that you think could help others or you think I'm not doing right, I value that just as much as a positive comment. So keep them coming. Again, watch the next video coming up. And here's my tip for today. Do something nice for someone without getting any recognition at all. So if you get recognition for it, it doesn't count. Do something nice that you can't get recognized for and it'll make you feel better. I love you. I love being your tile coach and we'll see you on the next video.